we are going to get started on our pencil bow. Um, you do need a few pieces more than what I typically have in my little sewing tutorials, so I apologize for that. Blame it on the pencils. Um, you're gonna need a backing piece, which actually this is, there we go, it's going this way. You need a center piece, you need the bow, and then you need five total pieces for the pencil part itself. Um, the construction is fairly simple. So everything is a quarter of an inch seam allowance and everything is set up to align perfectly against itself. So you just want to take the pencil lead or part one basically and put it right face down so the right sides are facing each other and we're going to be sewing a quarter of an inch seam allowance right along there and it's really just exactly at that point that you can see on the pieces we've got it sewn and you are going to want to press every piece after sewing um it's funny i actually use the back side of the fabric as a right side because i thought it looked better for the tan part of the pencil so try not to get too confused by that we are pressed and we're going to take piece number three and attach it just like we did right sides together with the piece one and two with a quarter inch seam allowance right there make sure you press your pieces it's super important on this pattern so we're going to be pressing between every step and i'm just going to be pressing that direction so we're going to take piece number four now and attach it in the same manner with the right sides facing each other and a quarter of an inch seam allowance once you're pressed, we are going to do the same thing with piece number five. So we're going to put it right sides together. And so a quarter inch seam allowance along that straight line. And we've got this whole piece assembled. It's looking pretty awesome. And so now we are going to add the back piece to it. So this is the back facing right side up. And we're going to align with the right sides down, all of our points and curves. And we're going to sew everything at a quarter inch seam allowance all the way around, except we're going to leave about, mm, say like an inch and a half to two inch opening right along here so we can turn it. We are all sewn along the entire outside and I would highly recommend taking a pair of scissors and trimming back your seam allowance as close as possible without clipping through any of your threads. That way when we turn this puppy right side out, all these little corners and all of these little bits are as smooth and nice as possible. Again, be really careful not to clip through your seam allowances. Uh, you can use pinking shears on this if that makes it easier on you. But um, since we're already at a quarter inch seam allowance, it's not too, too bad here. We wanna make sure we get these points extra pointy. All right. Now I like to use a turning tool because it just makes it a little bit easier. I have this one right here, which is actually a bodkin for threading but it also really works great for pushing out points. So we're just going to take this and turn it right side out. And of course, I told you to leave an inch and a half to two inch opening and I did not follow my same rules. So you're gonna watch me struggle a little more than I should. But here we go, turning it right side out. Now I should mention, if you want to um, interface these, that's great. I, when I made my first round, I actually liked it better without the interfacing because it kind of gave the bow a little bit more movement, a little more flop. But if you want a stiffer bow, um, absolutely go ahead and do that. So here's our curve and we're gonna be pushing out the point on the pencil also and then 
go ahead and give this a nice press so all of our points and curves are nice and even. Now that we're all pressed, we just wanna make sure we close up that opening that we had here. See the seam allowance is pressed nicely inside of it. Um, I'm gonna regrettably do it with black thread because I try to use a contrasting thread for you, but I think it'll be hidden once we finish the bow, so. And we are all set with our pencil piece, so we're gonna set this aside real quick and grab our top bow. We're gonna open it up and we are going to be folding with right sides together the long pieces to meet each other and sewing along this line at a quarter inch seam allowance. Now that we've got that sewn, we're going to be turning the tube right side out and I'm gonna just quick use this easy turner because it's literally lives up to its name and it makes turning everything super duper easy. I'm gonna turn that right side out. And we are going to press it, but we are going to press this with the seam meeting very much along the middle of the uh, tube that you just created. So you want the seam to be along the middle back right now. So we'll give it a good press. We are pressed and we're gonna flip it so the seam is on the bottom here and we're going to fold it so we're calling this part without the seam the right side of the fabric right now and so we're going to fold it with the short ends meeting each other so the right sides are together and then we're going to be sewing with a quarter inch seam allowance right there once you have that sewn you just want to turn your bow right side facing out and make sure you align that seam that we just created pretty much right dead center and so to create the bow portion, we are going to be accordion folding this bow piece. And you can tie it up however you like. I find it pretty easy to just use yarn. So you just kind of want to accordion fold it. Maybe start by folding it in half and then one side meeting and then the other. So we kind of have this, you see what I mean? Like when you used to fold paper and we're going to put and tie. You can use string, you can use yarn, you can use elastic, however you want. You want to tie it pretty tight. We're going to tie a string right there. Do a little less clumsy than I'm doing it right now. <laughs> I think when I do things on camera, I become very much uncoordinated. Okay, so we have that tied. Give it another knot. Elastic is a lot easier, I suppose. So here's our scrunched up bow with a, and if you get it off center like me, just slide your knot into the middle. Okay, and then we're going to grab our bow piece, our bottom bow piece and do pretty much exactly the same thing. So you wanna fold it in half and then kind of fold it up meeting the top edge again and then up meeting the top edge again. Find the middle and you wanna match it to where you just knotted your other bow. And give it a good wrap right in that middle again. And tie it off. This is a cheating way to tie a perfect bow. It's pretty awesome. Okay. And there we go. We are rocking and rolling. So the last thing that we're going to do is take our bow center and we are going to fold it into thirds. So you just kind of want to overlap it in the middle a little bit and then overlap it again and press it. So now it's got this 
double crease and it is folded with one raw edge as the only thing sticking out in the center right here. We're going to be placing this face down on top of your bow and we're gonna be wrapping it around the middle center here. Now you can use hot glue if you want. I, I love Fabri-Tac, it's like my favorite glue. It's a little stinky, but it really is pretty intense and does its job. Uh, if you are adding a clip or a bobby pin or um, really anything, this is where you'd be adding it. I haven't decided how I'm going to attach this to something yet, so I'm just going to finish the bow as is. So you just wanna wrap it and glue it there. And then we're going to give this end a little tuck so the raw edge gets hidden. We're going to add a little dab of glue on the other side. My glue's being a little feisty. And meet it in the middle so everything is enclosed and it is wrapped nicely and looks like you tied it without actually having to tie it. <laughs> so here is our finished adorable little bow. So you see how the raw edges are closed in on the back and on the front everything is covered up and enclosed and you've got an adorable little bow. Like I said, add it to a headband, add it to a hair tie, add it to a clip, whatever you want to put it on, and it'll be surely the most adorable thing that you're sending your child or yourself back to school in. I hope you love it. I can't wait to see your final makes, and um, thanks for joining me.